Hi, I'm Lara from 5 out of 4 Patterns and welcome to Sewing School Neck Bands Part 1. Today we're going to be talking about how to finish your favorite knit top that has a scoop or crew neckline. Let's jump right in. All right, here we are. This is a completed uh, semi-fitted uh, men's tee from 5 out of 4 Patterns and you can see the, the uh, crew neck is, is completely finished and nice and lovely. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do all of the of the t-shirt. We're gonna do the side seams and the shoulder seams and the sleeves and everything. And we're gonna get to the point where we're at the neckband. And here we have our neckband piece. What we're going to do, first step is we're gonna take our neckband piece and we're gonna fold it right sides together. And then we're gonna stitch right along th on, on the short end at a 3 8 inch seam allowance. So I'll be right back. Here we are, we've got our 3 8 inch seam allowance. We are going to open up, open it up, we've got our little circle, our little tube, and we're going to fold it wrong sides together. And we're gonna fold it all the way around, all the way around the entire um, tube. And then we are going to press it. So I'm off to do some pressing and some folding and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. I have not only folded and pressed my neckband, but I have also quartered it. You can see that I have the centers, front and back center and the sides um, all quartered and I've got them pinned. I've also quartered the neckline itself. Pay careful attention to uh, the, quarter, the side quartering. Um, the neck, I'm sorry, the shoulder seam is not the center, it's not the quarter marking. So you'll have to make sure that you have your center of your front and back, and this is how I do it. I take it like this, fold it in half to get that center piece, center point, excuse me, and then I pin there. So that's your quartering. So you've got, let me show you your shoulder seam so you can see that there is a difference. Here's your shoulder seam here. Okay, there's your shoulder seam. Here's your shoulder seam here. And notice that pin is not on that shoulder seam. So it's really important that you quarter it properly. Once you've done that, it's time to line up your neck band and your neckline. You're going to take where the seam is that you, that 3 8 inch seam of the neck band, you're going to use as the center of the back bodice and you're gonna pin that. Then the opposite side of that would be the center of the front bodice. And then you'll line up your quartered sides with the pins for the quartered neck band. And you'll do the other side. Okay, so then you can add as many pins as you feel like you need in between to get, keep, get you the stability um, that you need for, you know, in between the two quartered pieces, but I leave it like this and then I will take it to my serger. You can use a stretch stitch or a zigzag and go all the way at a 3 8 inch seam allowance all the way around the um, neck band and neckline. So I'll be right back for that. Okay, here we are. As you can see, I have surged all the way around at a 3 8 inch, inch seam allowance uh, all the way around the neck, neck, uh, neck band or neckline, I should say. And the last, the final thing we're going to do is we're going to top stitch. You can use a twin needle, you can use a, a stretch stitch, but we are going to press the uh, seam allowance down because you see it's a little bubbly here. It just needs to be pressed down and then we need to top stitch. And I will be right back to show you our final product. Yay! Well, here we have it. We have our finished neckband, a beautiful neckline that looks very professional. Uh, and yeah, that's it. It's, it's super easy and in my opinion, super fun. I hear congrats are in order. You finished your neckband and so did I. It's so simple to finish the scoop or crew neck neckband. I hope you had a good time. I had a great time as usual. And I hope to see you next time on Sewing School when we'll talk about the V-neck band. Let's do it. See you later. Bye.